What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm back again with another video. It's been a minute since we did a CW video to just talk. So I thought, why not? So here I am. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me questions, you know, what you'd like to know about or any question. And uh, you guys had a, I have a long list of the questions that you guys asked. So today, I'm um, just going to be answering your questions. So if you like this video, Please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you have any question that you still want to ask me if they haven't addressed, please drop a comment. You guys already know I respond to your comments when they really respond. And I share the video. I know um the last time I did a sit-down video, just get to know me was like one year ago. So since it's like almost one year later, I know we have new subscribers. So thank you so much for joining us. in Kenya and Ghana and they're like confused. So I'm Trudy and uh, I am Kenyan, born and raised in Nairobi, but I now live in Ghana. You know I saw a comment, someone left a comment on Maya's video and they were like, I, Maya, I was in the video and, and someone was like, is this the girlfriend or the wife? I'm like, yo, are you guys kidding me right now? And that's what shows me that we have really new audience and when they join our journey in the video, this, unless they go to watch the videos from back then, then they will really, really know. So, I am married to Mr. Ghana, Mr. Ghana baby, Abole uh, Maya. Yeah, and we've been married for like one year and a couple of months. For you guys, for one day, I'm not sure how I passed that stage. So, yeah, I graduated, so I'm not another girlfriend. <laughs> I'm based in Ghana because I relocated from Kenya to Ghana. However, I've been visiting Kenya so often. Last year, I think I was in Kenya. I went back to Kenya like five times. It was ridiculous. How many times I went back to Kenya? And it's very expensive. And I was like, you know what, Trudy? Go to other different countries. You keep going to Kenya all the time. So this year, this year I haven't been to Kenya, by the way. And it's almost half the year. So I think I might go to Kenya once or twice. That's it. And also, I'm not just going to be living in Ghana. I'm going to be going, at some point, I'm going to move and live in Kenya for some time. Because you don't have nine to five, so I'm not I'm not forced to stay in one place forever. So we can move up and down. Yes. What is one thing I love about living in Ghana? Well, I've actually done a short video about that. You can find it on my Instagram, on my TikTok account. So if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, come on now. I am a person who gets so cold. When it's cold, my fingers will get so cold, my nose will be freezing. You know, it's just so uncomfortable for me because I have a kind of body that picks up the temperature around me very fast. Cold weather really affects me. So Ghana weather is just perfect. It's always warm in Ghana. Listen, in Nairobi when it rains, get your jackets because it's gonna be so cold. But in Ghana, you can be rained on, it can be raining, but it would be cold. And that's why they have ACs. In the houses because it's really really uh, warm in Ghana. And then of course the food. I honestly believe that Ghana has one of the best, if not the best, food in Africa and they have such a wide variety. However, some of my favorite food, as I was saying earlier, used to be jollof rice and they graduated to fried rice. And then right now it's cotton rain. I love that thing, it's, it's so tasty. As much as I love the food they have in Ghana, I still crave Kenyan food. Because it's what um, I'm used to. And I used to think my favorite food was, what was it? Rice and peas. Guys, I realized after living in Ghana that what I crave the most is just ugali and skumawiki. You don't even put meat, don't even throw meat inside. Just ugali and skumawiki. And when I go to Kenya, as in they know, when they're asking me what will make you when you're coming home, I'm like, just ugali and skumawiki. You don't have to throw. Okay, if you throw meat, it's a bonus, but. I just love Ugali and Skuma and I know many Kenyans will be like, how, how? Yeah, you wait till you leave home. Wait till you leave home and then that meal you're looking down on is now turned into the meal that you crave so much. If we have Kenyans living abroad, 
drop a comment. Kenya is the only country in the world with this unique culture. Sometimes I just want to go into my tattoos and just, just take a ride, but my tattoos here in Ghana are not like the ones you have in Kenya. So I only have to go to Kenya to do that, so I'm really looking forward to just going back in Kenya and taking a ride with my tattoos. I miss speaking Swahili, you know, sometimes there's no one I can speak to in Swahili in Ghana. Another question someone is asking me on my Instagram is what is your workout routine? Guys, honestly, I don't have a workout routine. I used to work out, then life happened. We have so many challenges every day. Plus, we also travel content creators. I was out of Ghana for like three months or in the Caribbean. And uh, when you travel, it's hard. Some places don't have gyms, and even when some, even if some places have gyms, it's difficult to just um, go to the gym every morning because you have to wake up, go create content, spend the whole day outside, come back, sleep, eat, wake up, go out. So I honestly just lost my workout routine. Yeah, but I honestly, hopefully I'm gonna get back to it because I feel like that's the best thing I need to do for my health. Someone else is asking, how is Airbnb, your Airbnb business? So. Those of you guys who don't know, apart from YouTube, my passion is real estate. I love, love, love real estate. If I wasn't uh, a YouTuber, I would definitely be a realtor because I love building houses. I love watching programs where people are building houses and selling them. It's incredible. It inspires me. So because of that, I have a couple of apartments. I'm renting two of them out monthly, but there's one that is on Airbnb because the location. The other two, the location is not so central. And let me tell you guys, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Getting into the Airbnb business is so, so worth it. So just go ahead and invest this small Airbnb apartment and then you go growing from there. So guys, Initially, it was amazing. I was getting bookings throughout, especially last year. Oh, so when it comes to the Airbnb, I honestly feel like it's a good business. If you're considering, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence about it, I want to encourage you to just take the leap of faith. But make sure that you work with people who you can trust because people have been scammed, especially in Nairobi. If you're trying to buy an Airbnb, guys lie to you or send, or send your money here. Guys, avoid being scammed. And how do you do that? I can actually help you. If you're looking to buy an Airbnb in prime locations like Kilimani, Westlands, Kileleshwa, this is your plug. This, this right here. I'm your plug. Okay? So drop a comment. DM me. I'm also going to leave a number that you can call if you're interested in buying an Airbnb. I got you. I'm, going to, I'm working with very generic people who have delivered for me. Do you go to church? in Ghana. So in Ghana when we are in Accra, uh, I don't go to church. However, when we are in Takurani, we go to church because my husband's father, as you guys know, my dad was a pastor and he was the founder of a church. So we usually go to that church. However, although I don't go to church, I love God so much and God is my foundation and I pray. And my relationship with God is not perfect, but um, I'm taking it one step at a time. And also, I stop going to churches because, guys, I'm, I'm just being honest, people are so fake. Like in Kenya, we have had instances where pastors lying, faking miracles, asking people to, or to send money for no 310. If you're Kenyan, I know you know what I'm talking about. Too much 310. And then faking miracles. And then it's just, I don't know, I just got tired, honestly. So many things are happening, and I was like, you know what, let me just stay at home and play. God will still hear me from my bedroom, so. That's what I do. <laughs> but if you go to church, please keep going. Another one who asks me is, how old are you? Guys, why do you want to know my age? How old do I look? You drop a comment. Drop a comment. Let me know how old you think I'm looking. Some guys say, oh, she's 18. Others say she's 25. She's 28. Last year, I was accused. People were saying, oh, she's 35. I say, God, <laughs> really? I'm not 35. Please don't rush me. No, I'm going to get there. But hey, because uh, there's an article that came out. Take it easy on me, guys. How did you feel when you first met Maya? Well, I was so happy because he brought me flowers and I had never received flowers my whole life. So I was like, oh my god, I felt so appreciated and so loved. All my life of living on this app, no one had given me flowers before. So when he gave me flowers, I was like, damn. I know it's something small, but for some ladies, we don't need silver and gold. The small things matter. So for me, flowers just blew me off my feet. I'm not saying that's what made me fall in love with him. The question is, how did you feel? So the first time I met him, 
that's what happened and that's how I felt. When are you coming to Kenya? I'm really not sure. I wanted to come to Kenya this month. I wanted to go and bring my puppy from Kenya to Ghana. Guys, this is ridiculous. If you know anyone who can help me with this process from Kenya, please let me know. I called my friend who works with Ethiopian Airlines. He told me Ethiopian Airlines can do it for me. If the dog is tiny, I can carry it in the, the back and sit with it on the plane. If it's big, they have to put it in the back of the plane. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'm up for it. Then here in Ghana, I was told I have, they gave me a list of vaccines they have to do on my dog. Then I called Kenya to ask, they told me 90,000 Kenya shillings. I'm like, what? Even me, I'm not paying 90,000 Kenya shillings to come to Ghana. So why should I spend that much money on my dog? Then I asked here in Ghana, they told me if I bring the dog without vaccination, they are going to charge me 30,000 CDs. That is equivalent to about $300. So I was like, you know what, I will just take that risk. Bring my puppy without vaccinating it, and then they charge me that amount of money. As long as it's in Ghana, what should I say? And for you guys wondering, this is not Tommy, my dog. So Tommy got puppies now. We introduced my cousin's dog and then they had five kids. One of the puppies passed away and then now we had four puppies and we divided it with my cousin. So if you're also looking to buy puppies, I might just be your plug as well. Like I'm planning you guys to just be everything. Uh, if DJ Kali ignored you when you met him, how would you have felt? I'd be disappointed, but many celebrities do that. But at the same time, I also kind of understand because sometimes you don't know what someone is dealing with. Like personally, sometimes I meet people in the streets. They're like, oh my god, Miss Julie, I'm like, hi. You know, you try to meet their energy, and sometimes you're just not okay. So I would understand, although I would be extremely disappointed. But DJ Kali really came through with amazing. And she reminded me of something. We made the video here in Ghana. He came to shoot his video with Stone Boy. And I was so disappointed because, uh, like, I just was a big fan of the video. Okay, I'm still a big fan of the video, but. It was so disappointing because he that's the video he had lots of security and i was like oh my god the video so i was like i was filming myself she like, oh my god see the video and then he sent his bodyguard who came and told me you've taken a video of the video i was like no i'm not taking a video they said you have open your phone oh my god i should have told him no i don't have to show you my phone but i was so scared so i just opened the phone and said this is it delete it and he told me if you want to go to the video tell me i will take you there but don't take and the guy didn't see me the video so, so i was like the video really did you have to do that don't people take videos of you everywhere and the video fan please don't come for me <laughs> nigerians please oh i beg don't, don't come for me i'm just i'm just explaining my experience <laughs> i don't know nigerians who start attacking me in the comment section but i still love the video i think he's extremely talented and he has amazing music but that, that was just disappointing like they didn't have to go that far so yeah uh, thank god DJ Khaled was so kind and I, I, I wish many of these celebrities can be like that because sometimes we really look up to you guys you know? um so just something small like being kind will go a long way so yeah that's how I felt what do you seek to achieve in the next five years more real estate more properties growth financially mentally spiritually yeah how can i get my content to get more views unfortunately there's no procedure you can't hack it you can't hack the system it's just about working hard and being consistent and putting relevant topics that people want to watch and that's how you can get more views and just don't give up and try to find yourself and you're gonna be fine i remember when i was starting my youtube channel I used to be so scared, no one was watching my videos, I would get like five five views in a week and all of those views were mine and I was so depressed I wanted to give up, so just don't, don't give up, just keep going, as long as you don't give up, you're gonna be fine. What's your opinion on getting married? Well, I think it's amazing, but so many women, especially in Africa, are told that getting married is making it in life, which is just not true. I have come to learn that not everyone is supposed to be married. There are women who are completely okay being single. Cheers to them. Um, there are women who will get married later on in life, in their forties, in their fifties. Cheers, like that's good for them. And there are those who get married in their thirties, twenties. So I feel like no one should um, give pressure to anybody or themselves just to get married. Plus, um, sometimes it's better to be patient because once you get married. You can't unmarry. Yes, you can get a divorce, but 
I mean, for many of us, once you're married, you don't want that's it. I feel like you should take your time before you get married. Take your sweet time and enjoy your life, enjoy being alone. And when you get married, um, you're good to go. How is Ghana? Ghana is amazing. Uh, when are you coming back to Jamaica? Guys, I don't know, in Jamaica for two months. And actually, you know what, guys? I still have videos from Jamaica. I shot so many videos in Jamaica. Um, but then after I left Jamaica, I, I posted videos from other countries. Now I'm trying to upload my other Jamaican videos. And it's like you guys are not interested in the Jamaican videos. Drop a comment, let me know. Did you guys not want to see more Jamaican videos or what? Because they have lots of content, but you guys are not are not watching like my last videos that I uploaded. So it's like, okay, well, what will I do with this Jamaican content that I have? Should I just upload or what? Drop a comment, let me know. I'm um, truly, I think God is so proud of you the way you love your family. Oh, thank you. I try. I, I, just, I mean, I just try so much because I was raised by a single dad and he did everything for us. He was uh, cooking for us, washing our clothes when we were young. He was taking us to school, paying our fees, coming to meetings. My dad was just doing everything. And it's not like, like he was a rich man. I wouldn't say we were poor either. We were not very badly off. We were just there. But how my dad afforded to pay fees for three kids with his salary, I just it still baffles me. I just don't understand. And, and I sat him down and asked him. And he told me you just have to invest wisely in me. Apparently, what he did is that he he was saving and when he was saving i think it was an, 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 an this um this uh man i forget the name but it's still there in kenya right now so he saved so much money i think he said he said about half a million even before he got married he was just putting money there for years so when we started going to school it was easy for him to borrow loans from these guys and they would give him because he would never borrow more money than he had and then he would pay it off it wasn't easy for my dad, but he still managed to take us to school. Hey, my dad tried. Now that I'm older, my dad is retired and he's sick. I mean, it's the least I can do just to take care of him, you know. So I always want to make him happy. So yeah, I just, just, just do my best. Plus, having lost my mom when I was 16, you realize that your parent can go in any time. And you're not supposed to take your parent for granted. Like, I regret not having my mom. I wish I had a better relationship with my mom when she was alive, you know. But now she's gone and there's nothing I can do about it. So the only thing I can do is treat my dad right. Because he's my only parent, my only living parent. So I just want to encourage you guys, if you have an issue with your parents, please fix it. Please, it's, it's not worth it. Because death comes like a thief anytime. And you don't want your parent to pass away and you regret it. Maybe your parent made you mad, disappointed you, but one thing you need to know is they only have your best interest at heart. They wish you the best. And you may not want it, but the intentions is never to harm you. So just reach out to your parent today. If you're watching this and you're not in talking terms with your parent, be humble and reach out. And it's not about being right. I have come to a point in my life where I'm learning that I don't have to be right. I just need a peace of mind. So we, we both know the truth. I know my truth. You know your truth. You don't have to approach it from an angle where you want to show someone that you are correct. You just have to be humble. You just have to forgive and just let it go. Just make peace. Some motivation for some girls on the healing journey. Hey guys, you guys are talking about healing. I feel like that's me right now. I feel like I'm healing. Like I'm picking myself up. So I just want to tell you, just to be strong and don't give up. You can't give up right now because things get tough. Life is crazy. But pick yourself up and keep going. Because if you give up, then that's it. It ends, it ends there. But if you keep pushing, then there is no limit to what you can achieve. So no matter what you're going through, don't give up. If you're in school and you're like me, I never used to be smart in class. I used to be a very average student and uh, my brothers were so bright. They were always talking their classes. My friends were so bright. I always used to feel like the damn person, you know, in the group, even at home. But I never gave up, you know. At the end of the day, it worked out for my own group because I have learned that you don't have to be book 
smart. You can be smart in other ways and still make a living out of it. So you don't all have to be the same. And you need to take pride in being unique. If you're starting a business and you're so scared and you can't see the way forward, you can't give up. You need to keep pushing because your business is gonna peak. Just like I was spending days earlier, I started YouTube with a couple of friends who had their own channels and so many of them gave up because for over one year we didn't make any money on YouTube. Zero for over one year. And then when you started making money, it was like 10K a month, which is almost like a hundred dollars. And it's like, how can this sustain you? So it was so difficult. But thank God, I keep I gave up, you guys. I wouldn't be here today. So looking back, I just thank God I never gave up. So I just want to encourage you if you're watching and you're going through something very difficult, don't give up on yourself. Even if you don't know, if you can't see the future, keep pushing. Keep going. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And trust me, you remember me. So another question. Yeah, I mean, these questions are so many. I don't know if I can finish them today. I don't know. What would you guys want me to answer? Oh, what someone is saying, I just want to say I love everything about you. We have never met, but you have a heart of gold. That's so cute. Thank you. Someone else say, can you be my bestie? I mean, a really true friend to lean on. What I say about that? Aww. That's touching. But let me tell you guys, I used to be like you. I used to be someone who used to look for a friend all my life. Someone who can be my best, best friend. Share everything. Share our secrets. Share our clothes. Share our our time but so many people have disappointed me along the way so many like everybody so i've come to learn that honestly the only person who disappoints you is god so if you're looking for a friend please don't look for friendship from human beings because they're they gonna let you down honestly so just try god i'm not saying you should have friends but you get my point have friends but if you're looking if you really feel like you need someone to lean on just lean on god because human beings will disappoint you that's our big lesson. Uh, lesson I have learned recently. Truly, when is your white wedding? Honestly, I don't have plans for my white wedding right now. It's not a priority. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, I already did my traditional wedding. So I feel like the money I would use to do a white wedding, I'd rather invest it in property. I don't know what you guys think. Someone is saying, um, no question. I just love you. Oh, I love you too. Someone is saying, how is marriage life so far? It's amazing. There's definitely ups and downs. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad, sometimes you argue. But uh, generally, it's just fine. I mean, but the best thing about being married is that you have someone to, you know, what I mean is, you have someone to encourage you. You're not lonely, you know. You have someone to motivate you, especially if you're married to someone who understands your job. Or if both of you are like content creators, yeah. it's hot, it's crazy. I just love it. I wouldn't want to be married to anybody else. So yeah, but that's how my marriage life is. Do you like coffee or chocolate? I don't like coffee. I don't like chocolate either. Uh, I really, I don't get chocolate unless it's white. And I used to take so much chocolate, and so these days I'm kind of reducing it because of I used to get so many. People. However, if I'm choosing coffee and chocolate, I definitely take chocolate. Uh, coffee is not for me. It's so bitter. And actually, I never been used to have a coffee maker in my apartment. My Airbnb, you guys will be coming and be saying, Is there a coffee maker? We need a coffee maker. There's like coffee. Especially Americans. I've got so many Americans and Europeans coming to stay in my house. And all of them will be like, Do you have a coffee maker when they're working? So I had to buy one. When are you publishing your music? You have a God given talent. I used to sing when I was in primary school. Uh, we actually used to have a group of me and my girlfriends back then and then we grew up and then I just stopped singing oh, is there anyone in the group who sings still? no, we just talked and uh, yeah, I don't know, I just lost confidence but once in a while I sing and I know, I think I know, I know I have a good voice and um guys, you think I should like record a song and put out the song let me know, challenge me below I have a cousin who's an artist and uh, I told her we need to do a song together but then I was like, oh, I don't even know how to begin writing a song but it can be a good challenge for me so if you think I need to put out music drop a comment and let me know someone is saying, nini kikuja hey guys, the way they are, they are overtaxing us we don't even know what to carry or what not to carry now they say when you take things to hey guys, 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 I don't even I need to go and see that now they have passed now that they have passed this law how is it going to affect us? Uh, people who are living abroad and going back to Kenya. Um, I'm trying to think 
it out. So what will I bring you? What do you want? Drop a comment. Let me know what you want. Okay guys, I'm finishing up. Um, how is Johari doing? He's doing amazing. Why are you so down to earth? Am I? Thank you. I would say the reason I'm so down to earth is because things can change at any time. So you can't afford to look down on other people because they have been put at home. They started for education. You know, I'm not from a rich family. I used to watch these rich kids online and I was like, damn, they're so pretty. You know, I can't be like them. I used to feel like I'm not good enough. But thank God, I didn't let them put me down because I kept working. And I'm now I'm up here. So what keeps me humble is because of my background. Where I come from, number one. And number two, God. Of course, God is number one. My background is number two. And number three, the fact that anything can turn at any time. Have you had moments in life that you have felt so rock bottom with barely any shoulder to cry on? Oh, think about, yeah, guys, all have such moments. And if you're going through that right now where you feel like you're at shock bottom, I really hope this video encourages you. I really hope because I've been there, I know it's so hard. I just tell you to pray and have faith. You have to believe that things are gonna get better for you. I think I've addressed this before, but I feel like I really need to talk about it because the main aim of my channel is to just inspire people to feel like nothing is impossible and even if life is hard right now things are gonna get better Make yourself up believe it or not me myself i'm in that shock bottom that you think you're in one day i'm gonna tell you guys my story just, just be patient with me right now you see me i decide to gather all my strength and pick myself up and do this so you're not alone just don't don't give up if you don't give up you're gonna look back one year from now two years from maybe damn be like i never thought i'd get through that but i did and you'll be proud of yourself so how long have you been doing youtube i told you guys it's been five years how did you grow on youtube five years of consistency mm -hmm. and not giving up in spite wanting to give up a million times how's your dad my dad is fine we found god someone asking me get to vibe or cool vibe kid i think i'm somewhere in between between the ghetto and the cool kid would you support a girl who wants to start her small business um, by buying her ring lights? Yes, I would. I'm actually, I actually also want, just right now, I asked uh, someone to help me buy a ring light because I'm trying to get one myself. Oh, someone is asking if they found the recipe, the, the thing, the ingredients of making pilau. So this day I was really craving pilau here in Ghana. So I went to the supermarket looking for pilau masala, but guess what? I didn't find pilau masala and I was like, damn. So I posted it on my Instagram stories. Which, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out. Some Kenyans are telling me you can actually mix a couple of spices together to come up with a pilau masala. So I haven't done that yet, but I will. And when I go to Kenya, I'm definitely carrying pilau masala with me. So yeah, guys, um, I think this is uh, generally. Yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. If you're new on my channel, at least you know something about me. I hope what you know about me makes you love me. And make you subscribe so yeah join the family now watch out for more content coming up i'm also thinking of traveling you don't know where the next thing i should travel to next drop a comment let's have a conversation until next time bye